Hey everyone, it's Derek J. Today is August 14th, 2014, and it's about 10.30 p a.m. I just woke up from a pretty strange dream. I did some morning things and then um, remembered this dream. I don't know where. It's not something that I remembered as soon as I woke up, but now I remember. Um, I had been on a boat trip with a few friends and uh, I don't remember who they are at the moment, but I was detained on the way out. Um, there was like some sort of customs enforcement officer or something, uh, because I guess I had been through another country on this cruise or something. It was like uh, on the water. <clears throat> and of course, I always have pot on me, so. The uh, um, security officer, whoever, you know, overweight customs enforcement guy, you can picture typical loser C student, um, couldn't find valuable work to do, so he works for the government, um, stops me, says, oh, I have to look through your bag, and I'm like, well, here it goes, you know, finds the, uh, like, ounce of weed, and then um, grabs, like, about a thousand dollars or something from my bag, uh, says he's going to keep this stuff, Unless I can explain it away, he says, uh, you know, I have an opportunity to do that. So, <clears throat> so I put on some sort of song. This is really strange. I put on some backbeat, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to rap, explain this away. Well, instead of rapping, which I intended to do at the beginning when the song begins, I sang. I like, like... I, I don't know what I sang, I just sang the, sang the story, it was like, you know, I was traveling around, just trying to um, have a good time, I don't know, I really can't remember, but it was beautiful, it was a like, beautiful song, he was impressed, uh, he decided to um, drop all the charges and let me go, I'm trying to remember who was with me, there was someone in the room, like, uh, who was my, my cohort, who was like, yo, yo, like, you know, throw me the bag, throw me the bag, I'll hold on to it, it was like, Either Garrett Fox or Eric LaRoche, uh, two people uh, who I did Cop Block Radio with last night, or Eric does Cop Block Radio normally. Anyway, um, really weird dream. Uh, I barely ever remember my dreams, so whenever I have them and remember them, it's worth um, recording. And uh, really strange, really strange dream. Um, you know, the black bag I was using, I've never seen before. The agent guy I've never seen before, um, but I, I remember him in such vivid detail. One of the other weird things about this dream was, um, I was like, I had to use the bathroom. So I asked the guy, hey, you know, you mind if I use the bathroom right now? And uh, he, you know, said sure, he started walking me towards the um, officer's bathroom or whatever was going to unlock it, and I was like, oh, I don't mind using these urinals. And I went to use the urinals, and I realized that the I had to aim really high. Uh, it turns out they weren't urinals. They it was like just a hole in the wall for holding soap. They were showers, like in jail showers. So that was really weird. It was like uh, it was like being in jail again. You know that feeling of well, they've got me. They can do with me whatever they want. I am their property now. It's really scary, and I hope that uh, one day. We live in a world where people don't face that sort of situation, that uh, their, their bodies are owned by them, not others, and uh, I'll keep working on creating that world.